one of the things that you highlight, especially, and um, actually there's a fantastic uh, free report that you guys offer that is the future of surgery training and mm -hmm. education. But one of the things that looking at what you have that I love about what you guys are doing is that you have, when you look at precision, uh, uh, OSTech.com, the website, you have mm -hmm. enhanced realism in an high fidelity environment, deeper learning and skills acquisition, and convenient, cost effective, and scalable parts. So let's look how, because uh, when you speak about VR, people are still thinking about meta craziness mm -hmm. and uh, some other things they're doing that are fantastic, but uh, people think then about Roblox and then Ready Player One, and everyone panics. So, um, Let's look at this part of, you mentioned about initially how you're using it for education, but let's look right now on the model of uh, these parts of your product through the medical grade learning platform, but as well through the AR and the AR and how it works. Mm -hmm. So we're focused in virtual reality, just to separate the two. So VR, you know, the analogy that uh, people, many people have used in the past is the equivalent of a flight simulator. So that's how I would look at this as a technology. How we develop is based on a clinical lens. And then that clinical lens comes to, you know, what's important for a surgeon to know in the operating room with or without a medical device to provide the best care possible. And then we have a, you know, really, really excited about our team <clears throat> under the leadership of my two co-founders, Colin and Rob, who come from software development. And they built a team around that. So collectively, when we think about a project, we think of it from a clinical and a development lens. But importantly, what's the greatest value it's going to serve to the end user so they can deliver good care uh, on the real world? And we have an example of that. Um, there was a study published in one of the journals of American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons that showed we can take a trainee and have them go into a virtual environment, learn efficiently, and then actually then do that procedure on an actual patient in the operating room successfully. And that to me is really where the value comes in is can you show direct translation? Because it's one thing to learn. And, you know, we all use different models of learning, reading, watching videos, et cetera. But if we're going to introduce a technology that actually shows that actually the skills are transferable to the operating room, that's the part to me that's the most important is that we can actually take a non-expert or an inexperienced person and make them into an experienced person intervention or with an intervention like virtual reality.